Well guys, here we are. This is a pretty typical situation. What we have uh, is a small colony of bats that have located themselves in a gable vent in a house. And right now we're on the southern side of the house. Uh, the eastern side, one of the other vents, uh, the homeowner says there's also a few bats in. And what we're here to do today is to help the homeowner, which in this case is my brother-in-law, to decide what to do. He's decided he does want to keep the bats around uh, to help benefit the environment and for the bats themselves, because bats eat bugs. And I'm going to take the opportunity to kind of step you through the situation one phase at a time if you're a, a homeowner doing this for yourself. Hopefully this series of videos will give you some good information so that you'll know what to do. The first thing to do, of course, is to panic, run around, scream, flow your arms. Uh, once that's over with, take a deep breath. It's, it's not really that bad. Uh, bats are not evil creatures out to get you. They're pretty much just going to ignore you and go on about their business. And you do have to kind of control where they roost and where they don't roost. Now, in this case, the roosting, and we'll show a little video of that here in a moment, we went inside in the attic to find out. They are roosting in the vent itself, but they have not worked their way through the screen, which is good. Now, bats don't chew, but they do push and shove and squirm. And some of these vents, the screen will fell on and they'll actually be able to get into the attic and start roosting. Fortunately here, it was caught early and that hasn't happened. But what you'll see in the video is pretty much the same set of steps you would take even if they had gotten through the screen and were roosting in the attic. This seems to be their primary mode of entrance and exit here. Okay, in this case the homeowner noticed the discoloration on his house first before he even noticed that there were any bats around and upon investigating figured out that it was bats. Well, what we have, if you look at this gable vent up here, You'll notice the slight brown discoloration that's on it, and if you scan down the wall, you'll see a little bit of bat guano that's stuck to the siding of the house. This is actually the first thing that clued the owner that something was there. Uh, he thought maybe it was mold or mildew growing on the vent, and upon closer investigation, he figured out he had a bat colony that had moved in, and it looks like there might be around a dozen bats that are in there. And again, we'll have a video showing those. The main thing here again is not to panic uh, just decide what to do and obviously you've come to the internet maybe found our website at www.habitatforbats.org and determine what you need to do and how to approach it and hopefully this series of videos will help you out with that Zoom in real good so we can find the species on them too, but they look like big brown bats from here. Well, this is small bunch compared to what was on here. 